Wow, Howard, I can't believe you actually got permission for us to film in the President's Lounge. What can I say? <laughs> you did actually get permission, right? What can I say? You can say you got permission. What can I say? Oh boy, okay. Uh, camera and sound, can we start rolling so we're ready to capture whatever happens today? Hi, Howard. I wanted to talk to you about this week's guest. Is it pronounced meme or meme? It's meme. So listen, I think you might have some trouble with our guest. She is my roommate and she does not take feedback well. Interesting. Is it pronounced gif or jeff? Jeff? Why would it be pronounced Jeff? Look, I just think that she's likely to push back on any feedback that you offer. Well, I don't know. G could be silent. Words have weird pronunciations. Are you listening to what I'm saying? My roommate is going to be rough. She has this massive project and I've been trying to get her to focus it down, but she won't listen. Look, I just want you to be prepared, because she can be really difficult. It's like some people say squirrel and other people say squirrel. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Howard, our guest is here. Are you ready to go? Uh, uh, Jamie, how do you pronounce the word for the little rodent guy who scurries around and collects nuts? Uh, chipmunk? I don't know. Uh, let's get to one, people. You can sit here, Francesca. Boom guy, what are you doing? All right, let's go. Simple's Words, Episode 6, Take 1, Mark. Action! Uh, welcome back to another episode of Simple's Words. Uh, today's guest is Francesca. Welcome to the show. Can I ask you a question before we get started? How do you pronounce G-I-F? It's pronounced GIF, but I used to get it wrong for a long time. My roommate actually used to make fun of me for it. <laughs> People make fun of me for mispronouncing things all the time. It's kind of judgy, right? I agree, Howard. So, well, what's your question? Well, I'm doing my senior thesis in religious studies. I'm interested in how performance is a part of preaching, and I want to look at all different religions. I want to know what role performance plays and how effective they are. That sounds so cool. <laughs> Thanks, Howard. Everyone keeps telling me to do something smaller and giving me all these ideas of things I don't actually want to do. Do I really have to give up what I want? Of course not. It's your project. You should make it what you want. Thank you, Howard. Everyone keeps trying to make it a project I don't want to do. It's such a relief to know I don't have to do that. So, how are you going to do it? Well, I, I don't really know yet. I figured I would go to places and listen to their preachings and talk to people about it. What do you think? So, so are you interested in what the preachers think or what the people hearing the preaching think? Wouldn't it be great to get both perspectives? Heck yeah, two sides <laughs> of the same coin. But what would allow me to compare things? Oh, what if you think about a specific area and you go to all the like churches, mosques, synagogues in that area? Yes, because then the people and context would be similar. Oh. But don't they all have services at the same time? How are you going to deal with that? Well, Christians do Sunday mornings, and Jewish preaching often happens at Saturday Shabbat services, and chutbahs, sermons in Arabic, are on Friday afternoons. Well, call me a pancake and get some syrup. This sounds awesome. Yes, Howard. <laughs> but oh, I need to focus it. I can't do oh everything. Oh, my God. I, I cannot believe you are saying all of this right now. Dolores, what are you doing? Francesca, I literally told you to do all of this multiple times, but you're gonna listen to him of all people? Hey. You told me what I had to do. Howard asked me questions and brainstormed with me. You were trying to make it your project, but now it still feels like it's mine. She's right. Nobody likes to feel like their project is being taken over by someone else. But he gave her the exact same advice that I gave her. Well, remember, there are different ways to approach getting and seeking advice. She does need to focus her project, but there are lots of ways to do that. It's better to work in terms of questions and then always come back to what the person wants to try and do. Work with people's ideas. Don't try to fix them. That's just common sense for people exploring projects and for people trying to help them out. And Howard was just so great at helping me figure out what I wanted. I know I need to focus, but it doesn't mean I have to give up every big idea just to make a real project. 
Howard was like a little squirrel going after that nut. She said squirrel, I knew I wasn't the only one. I still think she should have listened to me. Oh, you are not giving me the Howard treatment. Hey, what is going on in here? 